来週のお茶会なんだけどさ、うんうんうん、使用中はい失礼しました<笑><笑>無理するからうるさい Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Anime Club here on the Prime Video YouTube channel. This is the show where I, your non AI host, get to explode in feels over anime that you can find on Prime Video. Now, before we get into the topic for today, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you love anime content and would love to watch more. You know you want to. Man, our attention spans these days are short, okay? We got ADHD, we got 30 second videos, YouTube shorts, and nobody got time to watch something that's super long, right? That's why Every once in a while, I love to watch a series that has a short but sweet first season. I feel like 12 episodes is always a sweet spot for me. Wrap up the season in 12 episodes or less and give what needs to be gave in that amount of time, you know? That's why today we'll be shouting out some bingeable anime that are quick watches. Quickies, if you will. Let's get started. First anime is Princess Principle. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting to talk about this show for a while. It's so freaking badass and adorable at the same time. It's like this unique and stylish anime that's like a mix of steampunk. Espionage and girl power. The story is set in an alternate history London where the city is divided by a giant wall. <laughs> No attack on Titan. On one side, you've got a kingdom, and on the other side, you have the Commonwealth. But what's really cool is that our leading ladies are spies at the prestigious Queen's Mayfair School by day and engaging in covert missions at night. So think of it as like a blend of James Bond with like a little dash of Charlie's Angel, but like with a Victorian era twist. Or even totally spies. Yeah, that's a good one. Totally spies. Yeah. So Princess Principal is all about strong, complex female characters who kick some serious butt. And these spies are not just good at their job, but they've got depth and secrets of their own. The plot is full of twists and mind games, which will keep you hooked to your TV, I promise. There are also some really touching moments and questions about loyalty, friendship, and what is right and wrong. The animation is really top notch, and the steampunk Victorian setting is dope AF. It's like a visually stunning clockwork world filled with airships, gadgets, and really cool steampunk vibes. Did I mention that there are really cool steampunk vibes? How many times? Did I say steampunk in this video? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, so if you're into thrilling spy dramas with a dose of girl power and a fascinating setting, Princess Principal is definitely worth the watch. It's only 12 episodes and you won't be disappointed. Now, this next anime, I'm not sure how I haven't talked about this yet, but better late than never, right? UQ Holder. Consider this anime a distant cousin of the popular and iconic Nagima. So, it's set in a world where magic and technology coexist, but you've got this seemingly ordinary guy, Tota, who's got big dreams. But surprise! He's actually not so ordinary because he's got this vampire buddy and he's about to be pulled into a whole world of adventure. The story is about Tota and his journey to join UQ Holder, an organization of immortals who are living secret lives and handling supernatural issues. There's action, magic battles, and a lot of humor along the way. So if you're into epic battles, supernatural powers, and a bit of humor, it's a good pick. Plus, the characters are a fun bunch with their unique quirks, and there's a good mix of action, comedy, and a bit of drama. It's got a bit of like a coming of age vibe because Tota is basically discovering his abilities and learning about his past while striving for his goals. So if you want a mix of action, magic, and some coming of age elements, UQ Holder is the show for you. It's a 12 episode quickie that you can watch right now on Prime Video, free with Prime. Last anime on my list is Anonymous Noise. If you love shoujo anime and music similar to shows like Nana, then you are going to love this one because I know I did. Our main character, Nino, is a girl who's been through some tough times. Whew. And her way of dealing with it is by belting out her emotions in the form of singing. Now, it cannot get more wholesome than that, people. She made a promise with her childhood friend Momo to find each other by the sound of her voice. But life's not that simple, and things get complicated when she meets another boy, Yuzu, who shares her passion for. For music. 
This anime takes you through a roller coaster of emotions. There's unrequited love, which always makes for a super juicy story. I love a love triangle, okay? And, and love triangles are even juicier. And music competitions that'll keep you at the edge of your seat. The songs and performances are really well done and you can really feel the emotion in every note. There are songs that you'll be wanting to add to your Spotify playlist after every performance. It's not a typical romance. It's about healing and the power of music and how it can connect people, even in the messiest of situations. Nino's journey to find her true voice and purpose is something that I think a lot of folks can relate to. So if you're into heart-wrenching teenage drama with a musical twist, Anonymous Noise is the jam for you, I promise. That's it for my recs today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see more anime content and give this video a big thumbs up. I've been your animated host and I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out.